All right, guys, um, we're back at Free Code Camp HTML CSS. I just want to make a note right here: um, is that if you're looking to support them, support uh, the gentleman who made this site only about a year ago. Um, he's got about 300 shirts that he's trying to sell at $24.99. They're they're uh, American Apparel, uh, whatever the American Apparel shirts are made out of some sort of fancy cotton, and that's overpriced, but good cause just throwing it out there um i trust me man i i'm i've been debating whether or not to buy one not because i don't want one or the price or anything it's because i'm just broke so anyhow html5 and css we're almost done we're on our last 10 here and if i remember it looks like we're gonna we've been using hex codes to shade which are the the hashtag and then the the color elements so dark gray is just one 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 and that gives us a dark gray. Not too bad. So next we're going to do RGB, which is uh, red, green, blue. So in this case, oh, we have to use the abbreviated hex code, which is pound F00, which is a red. So yeah, there's also a few abbreviated ones for the main colors. Um, here we are. So we're doing RGB now. So when we do that, it's still background dash color or background dash color, but we actually put in three values: our red, our green, and our blue. So at zero zero zero, it comes out black. So um, it's all the way cranked up. Each uh, each setting goes up to two fifty five, and bam, there you go. So 255 is the white, and black is zero. So your body should have a red background. So if we want red, it's red, green, blue. So change that, and there you go. You got red. Uh, your body should have a green background. So same same concept, except now we want to give it a green one. Nice. And same thing here is now we want to give it a blue one. Cool. And we're, you can also mix colors. So this is kind of uh, a less. This is just a. I prefer the hex just because it's typically easier and quicker to type in. But you can also do it this way. That's what I'm trying to say here. So, 165, so you, it'll give us our mix. There you go. And let's see, we have RGB 128, 128, which will be gray. Let's see here. Oops. 1, 128. 128. 128. All right. Oh, I think we're done. We finished it right there because now we're in uh, Bootstrap. So that was our first HTML, our first class, uh, our first section, HTML. Next, we're doing responsive design with Bootstrap. So that was pretty quick. We, that was all pretty much the same thing. We knocked all nine out in about three and a half minutes. Um, so what to look forward to next is we are going to design bootstraps made by the people from twitter it's a completely free style sheet and it's used a lot because not only is it free but it's also responsive meaning that it will adjust to your menus will adjust your images will adjust your whole page will adjust based on what how many pixels are the size of your device so look forward to that um this one's only about two hours according to this then we get in a jquery and JavaScript, but so far I would I would definitely give this this um, HTML and CSS, you know, a, a thumbs up, man. I really liked it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, questions, comments, concerns, and anything constructive is always appreciated. Just want to say thanks for um, the likes and the comments, letting me know if I'm doing good. I'm learning. Um, hopefully you're learning still. This is a field we all need to be learning in. And if I'm ever misrepresenting if I ever misrepresent something, because I'm like I said, I'm learning. Let me know, and if the videos you find them helpful, let me know. That that really um, goes a long way.
So I'll see you guys as always in the next video.